right, we've got driver Sam Widger with us here tonight. He's going to give us some insight into his drives. Sam, we'll go ahead and start off with the early double. Race number one, CG false alarm. The gelding made up a lot of ground last time late when you were on him. What can you tell us about him? Well, the time I drove him, I, I kind of liked him. You know, he come from out of it over here, had some pace on the end of it. Uh, seemed like an honest horse. Um, yeah, I, I like him for tonight. Doesn't appear to be a ton of speed in the race, Sam. Uh, is he is he handy enough to get out first or second? Well, we're going to find out. I don't know. Uh, he acts like he's got a little gate speed. All right. We'll go ahead and move to race number two, second half of the double, Sam. Number one, cruising the circuit, morning line two to one. Gelding made a break last time, Sam. What happened? You know, I don't know, Jeremy. He just out of the blue made a break. Uh, he's, he's, he's still a little uneducated. He's not... Uh, He's not got a lot of racing experience. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, throw that one in as a, a, a green break uh, because there's there's really nothing wrong with him that I can see. He's got a pretty good gait. Um, looks like he's got a little attitude. You know, he kind of wants to do it. Uh, he just uh, he might be a little slow learner. Come into himself. He might be a nice colt someday. Uh, speaking of that, he he came home 27 and four uh, last quarter in his first start. Does does he have some upside in your opinion? Yeah, like I was saying, he starts to come into his own and learns a little bit, gets a little educated. Um, he uh, he acts like he could be a nice horse someday. All right. We'll go ahead and move to race 11, first leg of the pick four. You're on number five, I Kill Time. Mare was all business last start, Sam. Did, did she have more in the tank? Yes, Jeremy. Nice mare. I really liked her. Uh, very handy. Um she, she had some more in the tank. I don't know how much more, but uh, she definitely likes her job, um, and she did it all on her own. Uh, this one has some back class, Sam. In an ideal world, you, you, you like to be up front somewhere? Well, it may would. You know, you, you like to think that, uh, absolutely, uh, up close. Um, but you never know how it's going to pan out. We'll just play it by ear when the gate folds. All right, we'll go ahead and move to race 12. You're on number seven, Sporty Gypsy. Uh, the talented gelding has the most gate speed, but has been tiring as of late. Have, have you driven him before, Sam, and what do you know about him? You know, I did drive him several times last year. Um, he, he he tries. He's an honest horse. Um, he, he's got a lot of gate speed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that there's uh, – well, I don't want to go that far, but he, he can scat out of the gate. He's got some gate speed, you know, why – why he's been uh, uh, slacking off at the end, I can't tell you. Um, but uh, certainly I like the horse. He acts like he likes his job. Um, and uh, he's okay. If you had to choose a, a pocket trip, Sam, or second up into fast fractions, what would it be? Well, with him, uh, I'd done the best with him when I got a pocket trip. Um, but I, I don't want to say he's opposed to having a fast fraction second up trip, too. Okay, Sam, we'll go ahead and move to the last race of the night, race 14. You're on number one, Boys of Fall. Wire-to-wire -wire victory last out of the eight hole, but is in much tougher tonight. Sam, can you tell the viewers out there that if there's a fine line between slowing a pace down on the front end? Uh, sure, there's a fine line there. I mean, you, you, it just depends on the horse you have. You know, some horses, uh, um, if you just sit back into them and try to get some soft fractions um, somewhere in between, um, they'll have a lot of punch on the end, but in the same token, uh, you got a horse that, that might just cave in, you know, late in the mile, regardless of if they get over to the half in 57 or a minute, they're, they're going to come home the same. I'm sure there's a fine line there. Uh, just, it's just knowing your horse and what, what horse you have. Sam, we'll let you get out of here on this question. Do you think a horse can gain confidence by winning a race? Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's just like, uh, you know, us drivers, we – we start winning races and you get a little confidence going and and i believe that's travels through the line jeremy uh um confidence uh wins races i believe you know that's uh that's yeah, it's a big thing uh, you know because if you you know learned that in high school and wrestling if you go out there and you think you're beat nine times out of ten you're going to get beat so um absolutely you know a horse wins a couple races they get uh get that good feeling going i believe it, it helps a lot all right thanks sam for Sam Widger, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horsemen's Association, live at Maywood Park. Send it back up to you, Joe.
right, I've got driver Kyle Husted with us here, driver of number three, Desert Cowboy, the eight to five second choice. Uh, Kyle, your horse is very handy off the gate. Uh, what happened with the poor start? Uh, I tried to keep him off the gate a little bit now. Uh, it looks like he's racing better off the pace. Put him right on the gate, he gets pretty fired up, and, and we get down there a little too fast. And, you know, I was just trying to keep him off a little bit and race him off the pace. Kyle, uh, what, what happened with Leroy at the start? Uh, that was kind of – that didn't work out very well. I was going to try to get up there at the last second, and Leroy's horse was on a line pretty good. And by the time they said go, he actually made a break and was in my spot when they said go. Kyle, you, you were making up good ground and uh, suddenly stopped. Tell, tell us what happened on the, on the turn. Yeah, we were just riding tight, and me and Todd kind of got hooked up there a bit, and it was kind of nobody's fault, really. We just got too close, and our wheels got hooked. Uh, Kyle, bad start, hooked wheels, and you were three deep. Uh, I know it's tough to say, but with a clean trip, you think you get there? I like to think so. Um, it was probably the worst luck scenario I could have had tonight, but, you know, he's a good horse, and hopefully it works out better next week. All right. Thanks, Kyle. For Kyle Husted, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horsemen's Association live at Maywood Park. Send it back up to the track announcer, Joe Mazzone. Thank you, Mr. Day. Second race coming up, scratch seven, performing nightly, scratch the seven. Casey Leonard tries four. We've got driver Sam Widger here is on the one to two favorite cruising the circuit. Uh, Sam, you kind of alluded to it in the pre-race. Were you just trying to hold to hold him together? Is that why you set in with him? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I talked to uh, the guy that warmed him up, and he said he brushed him, you know, pretty good quarter through the turn. Uh, he was a little fumbly, you know, a little rolly. Wasn't bad, um, but he took his hobbles up a hole, and he, he just, you know, wanted to remain cautious. Uh, with him um, so yeah I, I just I was just trying to get him around there I, he felt comfortable at, at the uh, just past the half coming out of the second turn so I moved him and he moved up nice and he just got the single foot and went to run and um, I don't, maybe slipping a little bit. Uh, Sam when you slid off the rail did, and you got to rolling pretty good did you, did you think you had a chance? Yeah absolutely he uh, he had he was comfortable up to that point uh, he moved nice you know I didn't have to rush him he did it on his own um, so, yeah, he, he, he felt good at that point. All right. Thanks, Sam. For Sam Widger, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horsemen's Association live at Maywood Park. Send it back up to you, Joe. All right, we got driver trainer Kyle Husted here. He's going to talk about a couple of his upcoming drives. Race six, number five, Prosper. Exploded home, second time Lasix last out. Kyle, how'd she race? Good. You know, we got her off the gate a little better, and it seems like that's really helping her a lot. Um, you know, added Lasix, and it seemed like it helped. Uh, 
you know, I, I fought Mike all the way down to the wire, and we just barely got by, so she raced pretty game. Kyle, is it safe to say you'll you'll try to race this one up front tonight? I'd like to. Uh, Johnny's horse can get out of there off the rail, but it looks like he'll take a trip, so if I could, that's where I'd like to be. All right, Kyle, we'll move to race seven, number three, I'm a fancy king. Is, is this one pretty handy off the gate? He seemed like he was at Balmoral. Last week over here he got a little rough in the turns, but hopefully they uh, took his hobbles up and did a little different rigging, so hopefully we'll get him out of there and try to get a trip behind Casey. Kyle, in your opinion, what's the best scenario for this one to win? Uh, probably in the two-hole again. You know, it's it seems like he, he doesn't want to take a lot of air just yet. You know, he's just kind of learning how to race. He's pretty green. But, you know, he raced really well at Balmoral two back and, or three back, so, you know, hopefully he comes back to that tonight. All right. Thanks, Kyle. For Kyle Husted, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horsemen's Association live at Maywood Park. Sending back up to the track announcer, Joe Mazzone. We got driver Josh Sutton here with us, driver of number eight, nine innings in Maywood's ninth race. Uh, Josh, you were the three to one second choice. You flew out of the gate. Tell, tell us what happened in the first quarter. Well, Brian's horse run, and it kept me five wide. You know, my horse been off a while, and I wanted to step him out there a little bit, but not like that. So, Josh, you, the six definitely affected you there. Absolutely. Josh, uh, first start off the layoff. You kind of alluded to that. Uh, did you want to use him? that hard no I, I wanted to leave you know if I got to the front I got to the front but I didn't want to brutalize him and end up getting brutalized a quarter and 27 four five deep in the first turn yeah Josh not not the start you wanted but you, you think that the second start next week will help him a lot better oh absolutely once we come off the break I think he'll be he'll be good all right thanks Josh for Josh Sutton this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horsemen's Association